all right let's talk about that how google gemini works actually so in that video so first we need to go to the ai.google dev so in that site you can just uh, click that get api in google ai studio actually so basically google gemini build with that vertex ai cloud actually so if you have a gcp access so you can easily to uh, work with that vertex ai as well actually so here is the google ai studio so in that for the trial purpose so they given that premium models actually that gemini pro and a gemini pro version actually so the two things they given that actually so in that part uh, so we can create a new we can go to the new and a free form prompt structure prompt and a chat prompt so we have a multiple prompts is there so if i go to the chat prompt so in that you can just uh, specify that user's input and that how model will it get response actually and uh, so then i can go to the free from prompt so in that part so i'm going to type hi can you explain python programming so after that there is a run button is there so if you click run so automatically gemini will return that response as well actually so python is a high level and purpose so that the end to end thing it will be returning over there actually so compare with the chat gpt so chat gpt have a limited response size but it will return a more number of size actually so this is how will it works in that google gemini level actually and the next thing so i can just type about that uh, just for small testing categorize that apple as fruit or vegetable like that so it's a big common thing actually so in that it will be just thinking so it's a fruit actually so this is how uh, that chat gpt basically will it give that uh, some response but that gemini will return that some crisp and clear response actually so accept the response or send feedback you can choose that okay vegetable it's a fruit but the one thing is so if it is comes with a separate section so it will be saying great actually but it's a uh, uh, comes nearby the line so that it's little bit awkward actually all right so the next thing i can go to the chat prompt so in the chat prompt uh, so there is a just testing prompt is there so in that i can just asking that what is node js or like that so i can just or what is ai so if i enter that so it will be returning that some basic information actually artificial intelligence simulation vision some yeah 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 so like that it will be returning and uh, so i can clear it out and uh, so there is a write your prompt example so in that so programming related questions so i can just type it and the model response so i can name my model as a jovis okay so now what is use of javascript so if i enter that so see my jovis will returning that <laughs> javascript is widely used cross platform object oriented like that actually so it will return some 10 points so it's crazy right so they using that simple stuff so you can create your own chatbot using the gemini things actually and also you can get this all the things via code as well actually so as you can see that pip install google generative ai after that install you can just import this module and you can import that model configuration and that categories and i can using the gemini pro and after that so that it's a programming related questions only i'm going to ask so that model jovis and so user i'm going to ask what is the use of javascript so it will be returning like that actually and also you can just return you can just append with that uh, curl and javascript and a python or kotlin so anything you can just take the code and reuse that based on that all right so this is one thing and the next thing i can go play with the, some image recognition actually so in that i can go to the free form so in that i can choose the model as a pro version actually so understanding that image as actually so in that so describe the what the people are doing in this image so i have a image with some playing cricket so in that so i need to get a response over there so i can just run that and uh, let's see what gemini pro vision will return that output actually wow great so the two men are playing cricket on that foreground in the batsman and the man is ground in the wicket keeper so it will be just explaining that what the image is actually so the wicket keeper job is to catch the ball if batsman is misses actually it's great yeah thank you and the next thing so i can just remove that and also so i can remove the image i can put my own image so here's some football images random football image actually so in that let, let it see so what happened it returning that actually all right so the image shows the soccer player in a blue uniform western maganis mckinney oh kicking the ball two defenders mckinney save number 8 jersey the players left away number 5 jersey wow 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 great 
Wow, it uh, it able to note at the jersey number and along with the in depth detail it can able to capture actually. So let it see. I can increase the temperature as seven. Let's see what now it will be written actually. So I can just remove that. All right, the image shows soccer player in a blue uniform kicking the ball, white two different types of white uniforms. Great. So let me increase as a one. And now it will be getting that straight forward actually I think. So I just uh, tweaking the results. The image shows the soccer red hair kicking that white two different types of white uniforms. So I can just close it with 0 0.2. I can drastically reduce that model value. Right. So if I run that, I'm excited to want to see the result actually. Yeah, great. What we previously get, so that's the same thing. And in that advanced settings level, so the output length you can increase based on your thing. And in the top K also you can increase that based on your need actually. So and also you can save the save that this part in that Google Drive and uh, if you are going to paste some images so that image also will save on your personal Google Drive actually and also you can share this sheet to your uh, friends or colleagues whoever will need actually and the get code level so as you can see that so you can take that same code actually so it will be generating so set up in the model and the safety settings so here is the image and the image part and the prompt actually so it will be crazy actually yeah and you can save the copy and what other things you can do so that all the things you can do actually and finally after that all the things done so you can just resetting that yeah so this is the basic level of Gemini uh, Google AI studio so this is all uh, I want to show to you guys so hope you guys you really like that video if you really like that video please subscribe my channel for more videos like this in the future also if you have any queries or comments please leave them in the comment section below I am happy to respond we'll see you on the next video thank you bye